Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, today we will just solve a very um, simple but probably illustrative problem um, about uh, uh, e equations and uh, transformation basically from one uh, expression to another. In this case we will use something which is called conditional transformations. Okay, so here is the problem, very simple one. Uh, we, will dis uh, we will basically solve it together. And here it is. Um, let's say it's given that three numbers satisfy this particular condition. Now, what has to be proven is the following identity that a cube plus b cube plus c cube equals 3ab c. Now, obviously, <coughs> for a, a, b, and c, this is not really an identity, because it definitely depends on um, how, uh, what, what the values are. However, if this is a condition under this condition, this particular expression is an identity. Now, there are certain unconditional identities. Well, for instance, um, like something like x plus y square equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square. I mean, this is something which is unconditional, because if you will multiply any sum of any two numbers by itself and open all the parentheses and gather together uh, similar members, you will get exactly this. So this is unconditional identity. This identity is conditional and this is a condition. All right, so let's try to prove it. <coughs> well, the simplest way to prove this particular conditional identity is just to use this um, let's say to resolve it for A, for instance, and substitute it into uh, something which we would like to prove. All right, so getting A from this will be A equals to minus B plus C. Because this is identically transformed into this. Now, we know that A is expressed in terms of B and C using this particular formula. So let's substitute it here, and let's see what happens. Well, a cube, let's do it uh, in steps. First, we will do b plus c square, which is equal to b square plus 2bc plus c square. Uh, in this parenthesis. So b plus c cube is equal to b plus c times this expression, b squared plus 2bc plus c squared, which is equal to, let's multiply b by any of these, open the parentheses, it will be b cubed plus 2b times 2bc, which is b squared c, and b times c squared plus bc squared. Now, c multiplied by any of these guys, it will be b squared c, let's use alphabetical order of letters, 2bc squared, 2bc squared. And the last one will be c cubed. Okay, so this is b plus c cubed, well, which is different from a cubed just by the sign. So if I want to have a cube, that would be this expression with a minus sign. Um, since I don't want to rewrite everything with a minus sign, I put this is equal to minus a cube. Right? So that's something which I have obtained only using our condition. Now, let's think about how can I use it from here. All right. Um, now, instead of 
since I have minus a cube here, instead of proving this particular um, identity, I will transfer a to the right side, and I will have b cube plus c cube equals to 3abc minus a cube. So I will prove this particular identity instead of this, because these are identical to each other. All right, so how can I prove this one? Well, I have an expression for minus a cube, and I also have an expression for a. a is equal to, as you remember, minus b plus c. So I'll just substitute. Instead of minus a cube, I will substitute this. Instead of a, I will substitute this. Well, and let's see what happens. Um, by the way, again, instead of worrying about the sign, it would be easier if I will write it down in the following fashion. Minus a equals b plus c. That's the same thing, right? And here I will do something similar. I will transfer 3abc on the left part, so it will be minus 3abc. And on the right, I will have minus a cube. Again, everything is completely identical. I transfer a cube to the right, 3abc to the left, by subtracting a cube and subtracting 3abc from both sides. So I will prove this one, and it's easier because there is already sign minus and sign minus here. So I don't have to worry about signs. It will be always plus. So let's, let's substitute instead of minus a, I will substitute it here, b plus c. It will be b cube plus c cube. Now, minus 3abc, it will be plus 3b plus c, that's a, right? Instead of minus a, I put plus b plus c times bc. And instead of minus i cube, I have to substitute this expression. So now I have this as an identity which I have to prove, or to check, actually. Well, actually, yes, it's better just to check, because it's completely identical to pieces. We just have to very carefully look at this. All right. Why are they, why are they identical? Look. B cube and B cube. Good. C cube and C cube. So far, so good. Now, this is 3B square C. Let me substitute it. 3B square C. If I open these parentheses and multiply by BC, it will be B square C plus 3BC square. Right? Now, b square c once and b square c twice. So this plus this, it's 3b b square c. And this is 3b b square c. So these go out. And similar with this, 3bc square, and here I have bc square plus 2b square. Again, these are out. So everything is reducible, you see? All members on the left and all members on the right are equal to each other. So basically, that's it. I have proven that this particular thing is identity provided this particular condition. Well, that's it. Uh, it's a very easy thing, just the exercise for careful substitution and multiplication of uh, uh, members of these identities. And uh, I will probably put some more problems of this type for your just self uh, self study. Uh, try to do everything, whatever it is, even if there is no solution like this one, which I have provided. This is just an illustrative example how to deal with conditional um, identities. So please do as much as you can, and thanks for your attention today. Uh, don't forget to check for unizor.com. There are many other interesting things. 
related to mathematics on this site, and you're welcome to basically take a look at them. Thanks very much.